Right, hello there YouTube world. Right, this is my second video. It just randomly uh, talking to you about uh, vinyl record LPs and maybe I gave you a bit of advice about them. But I did give you advice in the last video, but I wanted to cut that uh, short because it was uh, just under 29 minutes and that's quite a long video for uh, my standards. But anyway, right. So I uh, explained to you a bit like uh, you should always uh, take out the vinyl record and uh, check for scratches or finger marks and if there's uh, at least maybe one or two scratches and quite a lot of finger marks that's alright because you can uh, clean them off when you get home or if you're away somewhere take your uh, cleaning stuff like if you're on holiday take your cleaning stuff and then as soon as you get to wherever you're staying or in your house uh, clean them before you play them if they're really that bad bad but uh, if you get them out of HMV you don't need to do that but you still need to uh, check them but another thing is uh, like I wouldn't do it if it's like completely new but if it's been played more than three times then I would but uh, there is times where I've just brought it home for a charity shop and put it on right away but uh, nowadays I really study and see if it's uh, got any scratches and if I think to myself oh it's a bit scratch then I'll, I'll definitely clean it before I play it and I've been doing that a lot recently I might need to even get more uh, maybe that like uh, eco spray stuff that I've showed you once before so uh, I've showed you in the previous video this album but I'll show you again that one right uh, I don't know why I got it really well, in fact, I did have a look around, uh, uh, and... Good evening, welcome to the magic of the cup. Huh, uh, Donovan, build me up Buttercup. Uh, and... Uh, Pete, no, Clark, downtown, whatever that is. But, uh, what is I right, so some of them either have a circle or a star beside them and then you go down and then you check to see what the star in the thing, the star in the circle means, but what other songs? Oh, uh, Max Bygrave, There's Always Something There to Remind Me, that's a good song. <laughs> uh, Sandy Shaw, my old man's a dustman. <laughs> Crazy. But the circle means or not, these tracks give a full stereo re reproduction when played on a stereo record player. They can be played on most modern mono record players fitted with a lightweight tone arm and pickup head and the sound reconstruction will be more something if if they have doubled and wish to avoid damage right i so that's what that means so i digress so, ah, it's not uh, too bad, now that I've uh, had time to look at it, but, what other, uh, God, there's some that I might have heard it before, but I don't know. The Kinks, Long Live Love, Sandy Shaw, Swinging on a Star, eh? Uh, Big D Irwin and Little Eve lets the... Let the heart, heart, heart arches begin. Anyway, it's number six on side uh, two. That's the songs on that album. It's uh, a good album, but I've not heard it yet. But uh, some of the songs I've probably never heard it before, but uh, it's always good to, at least as I said in the previous video, but I'll say it again, maybe now and again to get an album that you've not really heard it before, because that's how you get into new music. So this, uh, this album's alright. Oh, yeah, I did go through it in the previous video, but I'll show you the uh, song list. Aye, uh, my father uh, picked that out and had a look at it and said it was good, so... 
that's good. And then I did show you this in the previous video, but I'll show you again. That's quite a, a cool front cover, that. Uh, I like I like the impact to like uh, they bits and they bits like they bits going down that way and the black bits going that way. So that's quite a cool front cover. I mean, sometimes I, I, I love this way. Uh, when you get a compilation album, you always get pictures of either the uh, solo artist or uh, the band. Uh, either just like a normal picture of them or a picture of like what the single was like. So this one contains Sly Fox, Let's Go All All the Way. I don't know if I've ever heard of that one. Uh, Paul Hardcastle, Don't Waste My Time. Don't know if I've ever heard that one before. Ah, oh, wait. Kate Bush, Running Up the Hill. Heard that one. Uh, hmm, it's no maybe quite as good as I thought it would be actually. But uh, oh, wait there. Uh, I'm going to uh, have a good look at it, and then I'll tell you about it. Hi. So this album is actually uh, uh, quite good, like, because as I said, uh, Kate Bush running up the hill uh, is good. But in my opinion, I just think that Kate Bush are music sounds a bit like meh. Like when you hear it, you go meh. Like. Uh, 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 looks like she's, uh, well no, it doesn't look like it, sounds like she's uh, taken something before she sings. Uh, but uh, I can see why she's uh, very, very popular, but uh, she's not only my cup of tea, she's only made about four or five good songs. Uh, uh, but uh, she's one of the best uh, selling artists of all time, but anyway. Uh, Oh, uh, that's a good song. The real thing, uh, you, me, you to me are everything. Uh, I think, uh, didn't quote me on it, but the real thing are uh, for Liverpool. I think I uh, read, read that somewhere, or it was on our TV programme. But uh, what was the other songs I was going to tell you about? Oh, uh, Mr. 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 Aye, uh, Broken Wings, that's a bounce song. Uh, what's the other? Uh, Mel and Kim showing out. Uh, I had to look through it. A uh, Billy Ocean, When the Going Gets Tough. That's a very good song. Right, uh, right, but there's lots of other good ones on this album. Uh, I'll show you the back here. Right, right so uh, that's the back here. It's a good album. I've not heard it yet, though, but it is a good album because uh, I've looked through it and there's lots of good songs. Oh, uh, Doctor and uh, Medics, Spin It in the Sky. That's a good song. Right, so, uh, there's... That's got a really good uh, front cover, that one. Aye. Uh, I don't know really why I wanted it, it's just because uh, More Than A Feeling's a good song, but overall though it's a bright album, but... There's only eight songs on it, uh, three on one side, and... Five on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, aye, fa five on the other side. Uh, that's, that's the uh, song titles. Aye, but uh, I just got it because of the front cover and a uh, uh, hit single, More Than A Feeling. But it is actually uh, a very good album because I've, I've, I've heard it, well, not all the way through, but I've heard it, the first side all the way through, uh, at my father's house because he's got a vinyl record, as I said, and uh, I wanted to uh, listen to it. Right, as I showed you, right, in the previous video, but uh, that album... Uh, I don't know if I've put this on yet. I might have, but uh, I'm just going to check it. United Artists Records. I've never heard of it. Uh, that uh, um, record label before. Maybe it's just one that's no well known. But oh, this is a good album though. Uh, I think it's uh, 1967, no, 70, 71, 
and then this side is 67, 69, 6, no, 71, 72, 73 and 74. So basically, uh, it's from 1967 all the way up to 1974. So it won't be a good album, right, because it's uh, Share the Basket, the single album. Like, like a greatest hits. And obviously, she's uh, most famous for uh, Day and... Diamonds are forever, but there's a lot more to her than that. But uh, their pictures are like the uh, the singles uh, that are on the album. Uh, so uh, that's quite good. I uh, when you get a vinyl record, you don't just uh, get the music. You get like uh, everything, like writing, pictures, uh, and some some albums you get like a coloured album, or you might get like a, a booklet, or you might get uh, inside that bit, uh, normally on that bit you get like uh, the lyrics, or as I call them, lyrics, but you normally get uh, that, and then you get like all the information on the back and that, so you don't just get the music, you get like pictures, as I said, and all that, so there's many of the meets the eye, so that's good. Right, I'll just uh, put you off for a, a minute and I uh, just need to take a wee uh, break and have a drink. Right, I'm back. Right, as I was saying, right, uh, in the previous video, I'm drinking that, but uh, other apple-based uh, uh, beverages are available. So, what I've learned, right, over the, uh, the time uh, buying uh, vinyl records is, Obviously you buy what you like or you buy what you've heard before or if you love it just so much that you uh, want to like uh, increase maybe the uh, record sales and you've ordered to get it on CD but if you just love it so much and it's cheap then get it on vinyl record as well so you can have it on vinyl record and CD but didn't quote me on this right but I think the only album that I've got on CD uh, uh, I CD, cassette and vinyl record is Barry White's Greatest Hits but I didn't listen to enough uh, I didn't listen to enough of Barry White I should definitely but what I said uh, to someone anyway uh, a few months ago is that I'll have to start looking through my vinyl record collection and if there isn't anything I've listened to uh, in the last like five or six weeks, uh, take them out and listen to them so that every single album I ever buy, I need to listen to at least five or six times uh, just so that I, I didn't buy just for the sake of it. Because recently though, uh, my vinyl uh, record collection is just getting out of hand. I think the last time I checked, I maybe had about 250 vinyl, individual vinyl record LPs, but I've definitely got me in the 300 now, 100%, because in my bedroom, I've got a big collection, probably about that long, or maybe even wider, that's uh, got more than 100 uh, in that collection. Right. I'll just speak to you normal now. Aye. Right. Well, I have been speaking normal to you, uh, but just with uh, different uh, masks on, but uh, other masks are available. So, right. Uh, aye, my vinyl uh, record collection is getting out of hand now, because uh, in the spare bedroom, uh, which I call the apartment room, I'm going to have to uh, move some stuff out of there and get another uh, cheap, foldable, uh, collapsible, uh, like, ottoman to uh, fit all my records in, because in my bedroom, I've got a big, massive collection of records that are probably about that long underneath my record player and then I've got a, uh, a standard sized uh, aut no, it's aut aye, ottoman, aye, ottoman that uh, the lid comes on and off so when you put the lid on you can sit on top here but uh, inside it's got lots and lots of vinyl records in it and then in my bedroom I've also got uh, 
about a stack of records that must be about that big, uh, but they're they're sitting they're sitting like uh, like that on the shelf. But apparently you're not really supposed to put them like that. You're supposed to put them like that. But I've just got nowhere to put them. Uh, and uh, I so it's a pile about that big. I would say uh, I uh, on a shelf in my bedroom. So I really need to uh, one day uh, just either buy something to put them on or declutter the bedrooms so the uh, the two bedrooms my uh, bedroom with my bed in it and my bedroom uh, with no, the, the bedroom with my bed in it and the spare bedroom I call the apartment room I to accommodate all my records because it's, it's just getting out of control and uh, I'll never stop uh, collecting uh, records because I mean, I've got everyone I've got every album that I've uh, ever wanted, but some of the uh, albums I've already got, the artists will bring out another album eventually, so I'll need to get that, like... Uh, I, uh, Ed Sheeran one day will bring out another album, so I'll need, I'll need to get that. I've got all his albums on vinyl record. Right, so... Uh, hi, that's just uh, my video then. Uh, thank you for uh, watching YouTube World. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I mean it. And uh, because if no one uh, ever watched my videos, there'd, there'd be no point in uh, making them. I'll just stop. So, hi, um, that was just a random uh, uh, two videos about my records and uh, do's and don'ts, I suppose. So, um I was just going to hand, do I, because they're so cheap. The dearest one I've ever bought is uh, £32, which was uh, Katie Tunstall's uh, drama uh, Dramatic Fantastic. But uh, to be fair, though, it's a double album and uh, it came with a 10-inch single with, like, uh, remixes or stuff on it, or unreleased stuff on it, and each, like, the first side, second side, and then that 10-inch single, uh, they're all uh, coloured, so it does uh, make make sense in the long run, but, uh, oh, that day when I was in uh, the Lithgow and I found uh, Lowport uh, Music uh, Independent Record Store, other independent record stores are available and places to buy uh, music are available but uh, that day I spent far too much money uh, it was crazy but I really really need to either seriously budget myself and stick to that budget or just buy one or two like when I came back from England just then I brought back about 16 vinyl records crazy and it was including that one but uh, all of them individually though were uh, quite cheap because uh, that one I just showed you was 99 pence another one, uh, uh, other like three of them were three pound the blonde one was only two pound and I got five for uh, 20 pound and then I got five for five, ten, fifteen, twenty, uh, five for 25 pound so like when you really boil it up and uh, look at them individually they're uh, really cheap but just because uh, they're so cheap I've been buying far too many uh, since I've had the final record player and it's getting out of control so right that's it for this video as well so uh like, comment, subscribe, uh, uh, do the thumbs up, uh, notifications, all that uh, malarkey. You know what to do. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I honestly really do appreciate it. It, it helps. So thank you, uh, YouTube world, and uh, peace out. Uh, come on, Everton, for tomorrow, but we've got no chance. And uh, I think uh, Celtic will beat Liverpool. No, Celtic will be uh, Rangers tomorrow. Aye, I'm an Everton fan, and uh, Jonathan that's in uh, some of my videos, he's a Rangers fan. But Everton are not doing very well at the moment. But come on, you've got to keep the faith. But uh, they're not a good team. And when I say keep the faith, I don't mean the Michael Jackson song "Keep the Faith" or the Bon Jovi song "Keep the Faith." But thank you, YouTube world. Pounded noggin. See ya.